Okay, now this is the auto trim line. And what it's done is it's uh, developed a line that tracks below each of the teeth and is going to cut away everything below that. Now I'm gonna show you a trick and this is what I do in all my cases and I've changed this over time and this is I'm pretty consistent now what I'm always doing. So the very first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to this anterior area, the same for upper and lower. I'm gonna move one node right to the midline on the upper, it's gonna be this incisive papilla and I'm gonna right click on this node, it makes it disappear and this node and this node, and basically I want one node apical to the first premolars and along the midline. What that does is it creates a nice arc here, or arch. If I have a node, if I hold the shift button, I draw a mark there, it allows me to add one. Anyway, you can imagine as I have more nodes, it becomes fl more flat, and that's what we call bridging in the 3D printing world. So, and I don't really want to do that if I can avoid it um, too severely. So anyway, this creates this nice curve. It's just going to make it easier for me to print vertically like this when I'm you know, using my 3D printer. So that's the most important change. The rest of it is probably take it or leave it. You don't really have to do much. But um, I'm hoping that in future versions we'll have it automated where it only adds a node at the first premolars at the midline. And then you can always go back and add more nodes if you want. But if that's all we have, it creates this nice sort of triangular shape and that's good for printing. If you want to optimize these, you can move these around a little bit on the on the heels, but honestly, it's really not going to be that important. Make sure that on the facial that the line doesn't inadvertently come up over top of a tooth. It can happen at times, so just scope it out, take a look, move on. Let's go to the mandible. And so once again, I'm going to right click, right click, move this to the midline. And then make sure I've got one on either, you know, either first premolar. Nice, gradual arc shape there. Look at the other nodes. Make sure it's not, you know, too um, you know, bad anywhere else. Looks pretty darn good to me. All right, I'm going to go ahead and say we're done. And that's how quick this step is. Um, I think that once we get to the point where we are doing this, we might even be able to bypass this step almost entirely. So that's maybe just a little preview of, time, of um, something to come in the future. All right, I'm going to click here to continue to tooth moving.